Yeah, so my coaching my coaching journey actually started um, back in 2006. Um, I was I, I was in high school during that time, and uh, it was my sophomore year of high school, and I was approached by my varsity basketball coach during the time to uh, help out at one of his uh, basketball camps. Um, and actually, now that I think about it, it, it was it was a basketball clinic um, during the weekend, and. You know, being being in high school, being stubborn and, and wanting to use my own personal time on the weekend to relax and, and you know, maybe, you know, maybe go to the beach or hang out with some friends. Um, you know, I was very reluctant to um, say yes. Um, but I remember that day, um, you know, I went home and I spoke with with my grandmother. And um, for those that don't know, I, I was raised by my grandparents, very old school values, which, you know, I really. I really take into my business even to this day. Um, so I had, a, I, had a, I had a discussion with my grandmother at the time, and I told her, you know, my coach wants me to, um, you know, uh, coach at one of his basketball clinics this weekend, and I'm not sure if I really want to do it. And she said something to me that day that, you know, still sticks with me to this day. And she says, you know, you have an opportunity to make an impact in, 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 in those kids' lives. You know, um, those kids are going to look up you know, to you and they're going to remember the experience that you've given them. And it's very important to, to do something like that in your life. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, after, after thinking about it, I, I decided to give it a shot, you know, and um, that first, that, you know, that was my very first time being integrated into the coaching uh, aspect of the game of basketball. And, and I remember I was coaching uh, third graders, that clinic and we ended up winning we ended up winning the championship that week and i had so much fun you know yeah. <laughs> um and it really it really brought a, a a love out of the game that you know that was different than playing and ever since 2006 you know i made it a i made it a point to go back and and to and to coach in in those clinics or camps in the summer and then, you know, just extremely thankful to be able to start my own business uh, here and, and do the same thing for the kids out here in this area. So, uh, yeah, very, very humble beginning starting for me, um, kind of, you know, took on the selfishness type of aspect and turned into a selfless person yeah. by serving others. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. so, yeah. Yeah. So that's how I got started. Love that. So, so tell us a little bit about your your coaching business then. So, what does your company specialize in? Yeah, great question. So, you know, it. I was I was actually working a nine to five job um, out here in, in the area, and um, you know, I, I I really like to listen to different podcasts and and and, and sports videos, and you know, I kind of you know I came across Ben Ben Neighbors uh, ad. For his mm -hmm. for his money uh, making coaching business, and you know, I was very intrigued about it because you know I've I, I've had I've had uh, you know training uh, basketball players in the past, but you know th this was something that was really interesting to me. And mm -hmm. um, so you know, my my business was was mostly created uh, for specializing in helping kids work on their game year round because mm -hmm. um, I'm originally from California and. Yep. Um, and right now, you know, I'm living in Idaho, um, but, you know, I've, I, I, I've, I've been a little bit all over with, with my coaching career, um, mm -hmm. in California, we would, we would train year round at my high school, you know, yeah. AAU basketball last year round, right. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the, uh, the, the expectation and the environment and the competition levels is just so much different there than it is here. And mm -hmm. then I asked myself, well, why? Well, why is that, right? Mm -hmm. Number one, it could be due to the weather because here in Washington and Idaho, it snows. California, <laughs> you know, it, Good it does weather. not. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's a little bit warmer. So, yeah. uh, you know, kids are able to kind of get outside and work on their game a lot more. Yeah. But then I started looking at, you know, uh, further down the line. And I put myself in the shoes of, of being a scout. And mm -hmm. I told myself, if I'm a scout, and I'm coming to look at you play and you're in Idaho or Washington, what's going to stand out to me compared to a kid from California or Texas? Yeah. Well, those kids have warmer weather, so they're going to obviously get outside and work on the game a lot more here. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to get into a gym. It's really yes. hard, you know? 
Um, and the weather doesn't help as mentioned before. So, mm -hmm. you know, I wanted to create my business to help kids to be able to get in the gym, to work on their game. And mm -hmm. we specialize in two things. Number one, you're going to learn elite basketball skills on the court. Um, and then off of it, you're going to learn expert life skills. So you're going to learn how to be accountable. You're going to learn how to be disciplined. You're going to learn how to, uh, you know, be organized with, mm -hmm. with, with how you manage your time. And that's the sole purpose of this business. So if you want to play college basketball, you have an opportunity to do that here within this academy by getting mm -hmm. into the gym and working on those reps, mm -hmm. right? But what if college basketball is, isn't in the cards for you, right? Mm -hmm. you're, and that's okay. Um, you're still going to learn great life skills off the court. And um, those two things, you know, really um, – is what my business is all about. And, you know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just, I'm just so proud that, you know, we have been able to help so many kids here in this area and, um, you know, really, you know, open some doors and, 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 mm -hmm. and help transform their life to, to become a better person in the end. So that's what mm -hmm. it's all about. Right. <laughs> I love that. Love that. So, so you've, you, you're a current member of, of our program and yes. you've been one for, for a while now. So tell us, tell us a little bit about what you were doing before you went full time with your business. Yeah, great question, Leo. So, you know, I was working a nine to five job, um, and you know, th th there's a company here um, that I was I was an assembler, and you know, I, I wasn't I, I wasn't happy with what I was doing. It was one of those jobs where. You know, I was just doing it to to pay the bills. <laughs> so, you know, I have a I have a young family, and um, you know, I was, I, I it was it was a situation where I was just really stuck, if, if that makes sense. Um, you know, I wasn't able to move up in the company as fast as I would like to. My wife and I, you know, we we weren't even able to take vacation trips or anything like that. You know, I was really stuck, and. Um, you know, as mentioned earlier in this video call, you know, I, I stumbled upon, you know, Ben's, Ben's ad. Um, well, you know, th through a podcast I was listening to, and it was very intriguing to me. And I decided to start doing some of the building blocks to kind of put myself in a position to leave. Um, and I, you know, I, I told, I told my family, I said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking for a sign here to, to see if this is something that I'm going to be good at. But deep down inside, Leo, you know, I was excited about this opportunity. I can tell you, man, like I would wake up super early just jotting down notes on, on a piece of paper on, on how I want to start my business. Right? And, yeah, yeah. And, 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 you know, Ben, ben really helped me kind of formulate all of those things in, into a plan because, um, you know, I, I, I've been coaching since 2006. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a high school basketball coach here in the area that I'm at during during the basketball season. Mm -hmm. So basketball is very important to me in my life. And mm -hmm. you know, when I was working my nine to five job, I just wasn't happy. You know, I was just really looking forward to basketball season starting, <laughs> so you know I could find some joy in my life, right? Um, but but yeah, man. Um, you know, it's. It was it was a it was a decision that I made um, after having a meeting with my supervisors at my nine to five job that, you know, it was unfortunate, but I wasn't going to be able to progress with the promotion that I was really hoping for. But deep, but, but in the back of my mind, I was smiling because I knew, oh, yeah, it's just a matter of time before I'm going to start my own business here. And when I hit it, I'm going to hit it hard yeah. and I'm just going to take off. So yes. while. The outside appearance was disappointed. The inside was like, our time is coming. We, you know, it, 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 everything's going to work out. So uh, when I met Ben, we came up with with a plan. Um, you know, he he showed me his process, and I just I just immediately went to work, man. And I would say that I had a good amount of savings in in my account already. Um, by the time I had that meeting with my nine to five job that I knew it was okay to leave at that point. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one last thing, Leo, it was, it was one of those where, you know, um, my family and I spoke about it and my wife actually told me, says, you know, they have the honor of your presence right now. They have, they have that honor, right? You decide when you're ready to leave because we are ready to go. So I said, okay, great. So I'm going to take this meeting. I'm going to see how, see how it goes. 
And if I think it goes how I think it's going to go, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to get started here next week. So, yeah, uh, yeah man, uh, I wasn't happy at my job and I did something about it. So, <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and now, uh, you know, I wake up every single day. I'm excited to, to get to work. I have a full schedule set for me, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and yeah, life, life is just great, man. I, you know, I'm Good. really thankful to, to be at this point. Awesome. Love, love that story. So <laughs> any coach watching is probably going to think that you're insane. Um, <laughs> now, if there is a coach watching and the back of their head, they're thinking, do you know what? This is me at my current job now. This is what mm -hmm. I want to be doing. Mm -hmm. What would you say to that coach who is scared to take that leap? Yeah. Yeah. Great question. Um, you know, I, I, I'm a big Kobe Bryant guy. You know, I, I really, I watch a lot of videos that, that, you know, what, you know, that, that he had on YouTube and, you know, I really try and, and, you know, hone in my mentality from, from how he, how he lived his life. And he said something that really, that really got me motivated. And it's a video that I watch every single day before I start my business. I wake up, I have a certain schedule that, you know, I, I do, but this video I watch every single day helps motivate me. And one of the things that he says, he says, you know, you have to, in your life, you know, you have to be able to love what you do, right? Mm -hmm. If you're waking up every single day and you're hating going to work and you're just kind of dreading it, do, do, do something else, do something that you love to do, right? And mm -hmm. that stuck out to me in so many ways, Leo, because I wasn't happy, as I mentioned before, doing what I was doing and I felt stuck. And a lot of us, um, you know, as, as you mentioned, some coaches may think it's crazy because there's that sense of security. Well, I go to work, I'm going to get paid, <laughs> you know, uh, two times a month, there's security there, you know, I'm comfortable where I'm at. Well, you may be comfortable where you're at, but are you extremely happy with what you're doing? You know, we only get one life to live, right? And, and you know, I want to be able to to have enough free time to uh, spend with my family, not feel capped with how much I was making, and enjoy mm -hmm. life, right? right. Um, so, you know, I would say for those that are, you know, kind of on the fence about this, you know, you really have to write down your priorities and, and, and really write down, you know, are you really happy with what you're doing? Right. Mm -hmm. um, or are you just doing it just to make ends meet? And mm -hmm. for me, you know, as mentioned before, I do have a young family. Um, mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that, you know, I had enough in, in, in my in my personal account to be able to leave my nine to five job. So yes. I did my homework. So do do your research, man. Write down, write down stuff that you're really passionate about and just go after it. Right. Mm -hmm. Um and, you know, as I, I coach basketball for a living and a lot of the, and, you know, there's a lot of life lessons that I like to teach to all of my kids. And, and one of them, you know, comes down to a, a, an example of, of the Vikings. And, you know, I, I would tell the kids that when the Vikings will go to a new place, they would burn their ships. <laughs> you know, there is like, I'm committing to this. There is no yeah. turning back. Right. Yeah. So if you're going to do this, you got to commit a hundred percent. You can't just have one foot in one foot out, man. You know? Um, and it, for me, I wrote down three things, Leo. The mm -hmm. first thing was I want to, I want to be financially free. Uh, you know, I don't want to feel like I'm capped. Number two, mm -hmm. I want to spend more time with my family. And number three, I want to be happy doing what I do. I want to yeah. love doing what I do. Mm -hmm. Those three things. And then I compared it to my nine to five. Well, nope, I'm not. I'm not making as much as I want. Mm -hmm. uh, my time is limited. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm working nine to five, you know, Monday through Friday. Um, and I'm not happy with, with, with what I'm doing. It's just paying the bills, right? Mm -hmm. So um, when I looked at starting my own business, yeah, there's risk to it. But, mm -hmm. you know, if, you, if, if, you, if you're always just, just kind of scared to take that leap, you, you, you know, you're never going to get far in life, in my opinion. So... Um, you know, I once again, I would say to those coaches that are on the fence, you know, um, look at a lot of the testimonials that, you know, Ben has has on his page. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you can always reach out to me. Um, you know, I would love to share my story. Hopefully this, this story can go out and, and inspire some coaches to 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 give it a shot um, mm -hmm. because, you know, we only have one life and, you know, it's it's it's, it's important to. 
um, you know, spend our time doing things that we love and to be able to have that extra time for our family, our friends to be, to, you know, to create great relationships in our life. So, um, but yes. yeah, that's just my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and I'm proud to say since this month, I, I have been in business for a whole year, Leo. So congrats. Uh, since, mm -hmm. since September of 2021, you know, mm -hmm. I, I've been in here for a whole year and, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm living happy, man. I love it. <laughs> good, good, good. I can, I can feel your happiness. So it's, conta <laughs> it's contagious. Oh, uh, good. <laughs> congr congratulations. Like I know how difficult it is. So you've, you've reached the first year and hopefully there's going to be many more. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, so, so Mara, take us back to, to the beginning then. How, how did you get your first client? Yeah, great question. So, you know, I, before I met Ben, um, you know, I was training kids, you know, I, I, I would train kids at a local uh, rec center. Um, mm -hmm. And re it's really funny. Um, my very, very first client was um, someone that was referred to me by my wife. My wife works with, um, you know, uh, with other co-workers and she just kind of overheard that one of, one of their kids needed training. So, um, got in contact with me and I started doing the one-on-one -on -one private training back in 2019. Mm -hmm. um, so I would go to the rec center, you know, I would train, I would train this kid for about an hour. Their parent would show up, give me a check, and then I go home and, and that was pretty much it, right? So mm -hmm. when I started my business, you know, um, I reached out back to that former client and you know, I told them all about my new business and they were really excited and they, and so they decided to sign up. And, um, that is technically how I got my very first client, um, mm -hmm. through a, you know, through, th through a former, uh, client that I worked with in the past. But, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, when I promoted my business here in this area, it took off so fast, Leo, um, mm -hmm. because number one, there isn't anything like this out here. There yeah. really isn't any private training uh, for basketball out here in this area. There, there really isn't. And mm -hmm. I've, I've searched on Coach Up, you know, I've, I've searched everywhere, mm -hmm. you know, um, there isn't anything like this. And then I thought that was a great opportunity for me to take that step and offer yeah. that here. And boy, did it pan off because <laughs> parents were looking for something like this mm. for their kids right yeah. um and you know i started actually my very first month i enrolled eight kids eight kids in in, in my business and no, you know, I, I started i started my 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 very first group training uh program um and to this day leo i have 35 kids 35 kids enrolled in my program. I have three mm. group training programs. I have my one-on-one -on -one training programs that are completely maxed out. Mm -hmm. um, my camps and clinics are averaging between 40 and 60 kids who register for each camper clinic. Um, you know, and it's, we are growing so fast, <laughs> you yeah. know, um, and it just tells you, you know, the need here in this area for parents wanting something like this. But from starting with that one client that I had back in 2019 mm -hmm. and uh, to where we are now, what the biggest thing that I've learned is how you treat people as well too, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you treat people with respect, you give them your best effort. They're going to go and spread the word because yeah. word, word of mouth, I'm, I'm in a small community here. Word of mouth is huge. Yeah. And that has really worked so much better for me than Facebook or Instagram or MailChimp mm -hmm. or, you know, sending out email newsletters. Like word of mouth is huge because how mm -hmm. you treat people says a lot and it goes a very, very long way. So, mm -hmm. uh, but mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's, that's how I got my very first client. You know, my wife was able to help me <laughs> get my first client. And then I was able to kind of reconnect with him uh, when I got my business started mm -hmm. and, yeah so th things have just been great since then so smash wicked good good so <laughs> where where do you see the private training industry going in the next two to five years yeah you know um i i think that it's it's going to expand because uh a lot of athletes are looking to get an edge um within their specific sport and 
Um, you know, for me personally, um, I would look at it as an opportunity to get more work in and and to be better at my craft, right? So you look at you look at private basketball trainers like uh, Phil Handy for the Los Angeles Lakers. He has a mm -hmm. specific app called 94 Feet of Game where he's where he's teaching drills for 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 private basketball trainers to 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 coach kids, you know. Mm -hmm. And the and then you have the most famous one, Chris Brickley, you know, mm -hmm. has his has his training online as well too. And mm -hmm. you can see a lot of these professional basketball players kind of, you know, moving towards these these private basketball trainers, you know, and um, I think it's going to expand, you know, um, mm -hmm. but, you know, for me, I, I always, I always, you know, I teach my players during the season. I, I, I tell them one thing and I, and I learned this from my high school coach. He always used to tell us that teams are made in season. Players are made off season. Right. Yeah. Now, one of my selling pitch, Leo, when I talk to a parent, you know, I'm telling them now you rather have your kid prepared for basketball season coming up because mm -hmm. as a current basketball coach, mm -hmm. we don't have time to go back and to teach your son or daughter specific skills to get them yeah. better. We are too busy trying to cultivate a team. We're trying sure. to get our game plan, our, our, you know, our strategies, our scouting done, you know, we're, we're looking forward to the season. We're trying to see what type of team we're going to have. Yeah. Right. And a lot of coaches just don't have time to go back and do that individual one-on-one uh, -on -one training. So mm -hmm. it comes down to, um, you know, are you willing to have your child enrolled into my Academy to help them become prepared for the upcoming season or yeah. are you just kind of leaving it in the air and 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 seeing how it's going to progress? Mm -hmm. Well, for me, I want to be prepared. I want to be overly prepared. You know, <laughs> if it's if it's if it's uh, coming if if I'm making a if I'm making a, a group training program for the whole year for my kids, I want I want to be prepared when I walk into that very first day training those kids because I understand mm -hmm. the responsibility behind it, right? And mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we all want our, our kids to be happy. We want them to have success. We want them to have a great time, right? Mm -hmm. uh, why not give them an edge? Why not mm -hmm. give them an opportunity to, to be prepared and, and to get better and so that they can have the best season of their life? So to answer your question, man, you know, I think private training is going to go very far in the next two to five years. Um, but, you know, I, I really think about what Ben talked about when it comes to private training. Um, those that are going to be disciplined, those are the ones that are going to be left standing in the business. Those who like to take shortcuts and, and, and just doing it just to get a quick, a quick buck. Those, mm -hmm. those, those trainers aren't going to last. Those that have solid foundation and, and great habits and structure mm -hmm. and organization, those are the type of, uh, basketball trainers or private trainers, uh, personally that are going to, that are just going to do awesome. So, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> Definitely answer that. Yeah, yeah, okay. absolutely. So uh, my best month would have to be March. Um, March is where I made fourteen thousand dollars in 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 sales for one month, um, and it was due to a promotion that Ben uh, had me take, you know, to participate in, and you know, I loved it. And it was, I I, I can tell you, man, it was um, it was really great for my family at that time as well too. Um, and it really helped kind of solidify my business and to have continue to have great success. So yeah, March of uh, last year um, was, was my best month by far with my business. And I'm actually looking to do better here in October. I'm actually in, in the works of another pr promotion right now. So mm -hmm. uh, where I'm going to be running it in, in October, as mentioned. So, but yeah, yeah, March, March was my best month by far in, in sales. That's awesome. So how, how has your business changed since, since you've joined our program? Yeah. Um, you know, I am. Uh, you know, I, I I think back to when I had my very first client and I would go to those rec centers and I would train this kid. And then there was another kid where he had a private basketball hoop or, you know, pr private basketball court at his house. And I would go to his house and his parents would, would, would pay me a check as well, too. My my business is more structured now, <laughs> needless to say. So um, if you if a parent 
you know, wants to get in contact with me, I have very strict rules in order to do that. One of the biggest things is that I require, um, I require them to set up a time to speak with me off of my page. So, you know, I'm not just, I'm not going to be wasting my time with those that aren't serious because my business is to help kids get better and those who are serious in their development. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, so my process is as follows. So someone will go to my page, afabasketball.com, and they will pick the schedule, a time to speak with me. I have specific rules uh, for the Zoom call, you know, and so they have to agree to, to those rules before they're able to set a time to speak. When I get on the call, um, I, have a, I have a script. I have a series of questions that I ask, uh, you know, the parents. And it really helps me kind of determine if 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 their if their son or daughter is going to be a good fit for our program, um, and then I take the time to kind of talk to them about my business and and what my goals are for this business and and what I'm looking to do to help their kid get better. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, I set up an evaluation session. So um, the evaluation session is for me to take all of the answers and you know questions that the parents may have had during our initial Zoom call, and then I'm able to see it, you know, in person. Um, and then after that, um, <clears throat> I either give them an, an acceptance email or a or a uh, declining email. <laughs> so, um, you know, because I'm very I, I'm very picky with uh, who I allow into my business. Right. Because, um, yeah, as mentioned before, we want to train players who are serious about their development. Right. So um, anyways, let's just say, for example, someone is accepted into our program. I have three specific steps that the parents have to complete before they can begin training. Mm -hmm. uh, the first is that they have to um, take a, 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 a course that I provide off of the Kajabi app. This course informs parents of my billing process, my rescheduling process, rules and regulations, parent expectations, all that good stuff. And then um, if they agree to that, they make the payment. And then their son or daughter can start with me uh, that following week. Um, but they have to follow these uh, strict steps, Leo, because, um, you know, I, I want to make sure that, um, you know, we're accepting kids in this program, as mentioned before, who are really, really want to get better with their game. Mm -hmm. And then on the first day of training, um, I actually have the kids that, you know, the, the new uh, client, boy or girl, they will take a quick um a quick quiz uh, about about my about my business and, and my pr training program, mm -hmm. so they're going to be updated as well too on my expectations, right? So, I'm very structured <laughs> with yeah. with my business compared to back in 2019, where oh yeah, you know this sounds great. I'll meet you at the court at this time. Uh, you know, please bring a check or you know or cash. Now. Everything is through card, through uh, my, my SAM card system. You know, I do have uh, upfront payments, monthly payments, uh, subscriptions, um, mm -hmm. but everything is structured in, in a way. And it's run like it's run like a professional business. So um, but yeah, that's how it has changed. Um, and then, you know, I, I hit the ground running when I went, after I was able to finish Ben's courses and um, you know, from the beginning to the end, all of my systems, you know, somewhat are the same, but I have mm -hmm. made some, some tweaks along, you know, along the line here and there, but, um, the core fundamental process of getting on a zoom call with me, um, making sure that you read my rules and expectations, right. Making sure that you take the parent quiz so that you're updated on my rules and expectations, all of that stuff stays the same. And it's just, it, it's just awesome. And it makes life so much better. And then um, I'm not also worrying about, well, is this parent going to bring a check today? Right. Or, you know, <laughs> you know, is this, or, you know, are, are they going to bring cash? Right. Yeah. Um, you know, everything, everything rolls through my automatic system and it's just great, man. I love it. Good. Good. Now, Ben and myself, we talk to coaches every single day. And if any coach, like normal coach, listens to your system, they'll think like you're you're out of this planet, <laughs> that you're you're crazy, right? Because yeah. most coaches, what they do is they they'll just accept a, a fifty dollar payment, mm -hmm. show up at the session, and they rather accept fifty dollars than put a parent through a system like yours. Yeah, yeah. Okay? 
So how important is it being picky and having a good system in place within your business? It's very, very important because your time, your time should should be able to exemplify um, how much you're getting paid by, you know, when you're spending time there with their kids. And then there's always the voice in the back of your mind where it's like, well, what if this parent doesn't pay? Right. And then mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, you, you you would really get frustrated and you know it it really just makes you feel less than what you're worth right mm -hmm. um and then sometimes you may take that out on the kid you know by you know not looking forward to coming to a training session because their parents are being you know up front and, and, and they're not and they're not paying you right so mm -hmm. um the reason why you need to be strict with your business and, and your processes and the way you, you put parents through your system is not only you, you're protecting your time, right? Because we, we all have 24 hours a day, right? And so it's very important to to maximize that time, but to also to get paid with, to, to get paid your worth. Um, I know for me, getting that check, it does, it does feel nice, right? But um, there are so many other things that are not said that kind of go into that, right? So if a parent feels that, well, it's okay that my kid can show up late, right? It's okay that, you know, um, I don't have a check this week, but I'll bring it next week. It's okay for this to happen. It's okay for this to happen, right? For me, I don't like to feel like I'm not being taken seriously, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, and, you know, if, 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 I, if I feel that, you know, it really just dampens my mood. It really just, and then it takes away from the kid, right? And then I'm not able to focus on my job, right? Now, it may seem, you know, like as mentioned before, you, you may be comfortable doing that, right? And you may, you may be okay just going to a regular, you know, gym and just training kids and, and just getting paid a check and going home and calling it a day. But if you want to streamline your business, you want to, you want to get more, you know, kids to know about your program, you have to up your game. You you have to you have to have solid standards in your business because the structure will be impenetrable by those who who don't take you seriously. If you put them through all of your processes and those that don't follow through, they're not a good fit. They're not, right? And then that saves you headaches in in, in the long run. And I can tell you, man, you know, um, there was I think it was a couple months ago. I was on a Zoom call, our 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 coaching Zoom call on Tuesdays, yeah. and I and I spoke with Ben about a lady who just wanted me to answer a question on email, right? She didn't want to go through my process of getting on a phone call. She, yeah, yeah, I think you remember that. She mm -hmm. she didn't want to she she didn't want to take the time to schedule a call or mm -hmm. or even watch the pre made video I had for her, yeah. right? Um. But at the end of the day, that saved me from a lot of headaches. And I, you know, I thought to myself, well, if this parent can't take the time to schedule a time with me, she can't take the time to read my expectations or go through my process, what makes it think that she's going to automatically change when she's enrolled into my program? No, yeah. this is it's not... It's it, it's just not going to happen that way, mm -hmm. you know. Um, when you have committed clients who really want the best for their kids, mm -hmm. they will follow your process. They will respect your process, right? Um, compared to those who are just kind of just throwing money and and you know don't want to follow your rules. I mean, it's 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 a night and day difference, man. And rather mm -hmm. you 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 up your standards. Right. And you take on clients who are committed and it may take some time, you know, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't it doesn't happen quickly. But, you know, it's really great to have standards in, in all areas of your life. Right. Um, and there are certain, you know, even in ben, Ben's business, you know, he he teaches a lot of those those different uh, types of skills to have within our personal life that can translate into our business life as well, too, as, mm -hmm. daily, you know, our daily productivity forms, you know, our coaching mm -hmm. forms that we mm -hmm. fill out and we post on his wall just to mm -hmm. see how we're spending our time. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we, you have to be disciplined within yourself to expect it from others. And if others can't follow your process and, 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 um, you know, follow your rules, then it's not worth your time.
and it will save you a lot of headache in, in, in the longer run. Mm -hmm. Love that. So, so Mario, where, where do you see your business in the next five years from now? Yeah, the next five years from now, Leo, you know, I want to open my own facility. Um, you know, I, that is one of the biggest, I, if not the biggest goal <laughs> that I have for myself in the next five years. Um, I, I, I want to be able to bring more coaches into my, into my program. Um, you know, I, I want to be able to reach out to, um, more kids in, 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 in different States and maybe open up another facility into another state. You know, um, I, I believe in what I'm selling. Um, I'm very confident in what I'm doing and I just see it just getting bigger and bigger and, and so much better, um, in, in the next five years. And, but it just takes a lot of uh, little steps to get there, right? It takes yeah. discipline and, and sacrifice and accountability and hard work from my end to get there. But th the biggest goal is to get my own facility and to be able to have my company's name on that building, man, and <laughs> and not and not be able to uh, to be capped on on the amount of time I can train kids. Because right now, you know, I'm renting a facility which, which, which they have been awesome to, to allow me to do that right mm -hmm. now. Um, but the main goal is to open up my own facility so that, you know, I can bring in more clients, I can bring in more kids, I can bring in more coaches, I can, you know, uh, mm -hmm. host whatever, uh, basketball camp I would like. Um, I don't need permission from my athletic director <laughs> yeah. or a program director. You know, I just, Hey, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. So, mm -hmm. um, and then also, kind of going back to the story I, I told earlier on about opening a facility and how it's very difficult here for kids to get in, especially during, during the winter season when it snows, you know, mm -hmm. I want to be able to have a facility open for kids to come in and work on their game as well too. Right. Mm -hmm. um, that giving back to the community, uh, I think it would be really awesome. So, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Perfect. So last question, this is a, this is a more of a personal one. Yeah, it's a two part. So first one is what does failure mean to you? And the second one is how important is taking risks, both in business and in life? Yeah. What is failure? Um, wow. I think it's fun. I honestly <laughs> think I think I think failure is fun, right? Because you're either gonna learn something about yourself, mm -hmm. right? Um, my coach used to tell me. Um, you know, adversity has the effect of eliciting talents while under prosperous conditions might have remained dormant, right? He used to teach that to me every single day when I played for him in high school. Adversity has the effect of eliciting talents while under prosperous conditions might have remained dormant. So during those adverse times, you're going to learn a lot about yourself, right? It's you're either going to sulk you're going to make excuses, <laughs> you know, you're going to blame someone else or it's going to bring something out of you to improve and to get better. Right. So if, if I'm looking at failure as, oh man, you know, I'm just not good enough. You know, this sucks. You know, I'm not, I'm not where I want to be. Or you can look at it as, let's see how I stack up against this certain situation. Okay, cool. I didn't get it done this time, but what did I learn about myself? Mm -hmm. Right. So failure should be able to teach you a lot about how you can handle that situation and what you still need to work on to get better. Right. Mm -hmm. Because there's, we're all gonna, we're all gonna experience some type of adversity in our life. Right. But I think mm -hmm. it, it's our mental, our mental toughness that really can separate you from those who look to blame others. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, even I coach high school basketball, there are games we lose and it happens right? But what do we learn from it? Right? Let's go back. Let's watch the film. <laughs> let's mm -hmm. see. Let's see where we, where, where our game plan went wrong. Let's see how we can improve, right? So don't look at failure as the end of the game. Look at it as a teaching tool. Look at it as a way to, and that you can improve yourself and to get better and and to hopefully find some some success in the end so uh yeah i really hope i really hope that answered your first question <laughs> um yeah so and then the second question uh could, could you repeat that for me one more time yeah so how important is taking risks yes 
in, in business or in, or in life? Yeah, it's very important. Um, it, I, I think if, if I didn't take a risk mm-hmm. by leaving my nine to five job, I'd still be stuck there. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Um, but my thing is, you rather take the risk and fail than not take the risk at all. And then you leave with, reg- you still have regrets, right? Oh, I wish I, w- I wish I could have done this. I wish I could have done that. Right. All successful people have to take risk in, in their life. Um, and it's very, very important for your growth. Um, and it, I'm not going to lie. It was scary. It was really, really scary. Like calling my wife after I left my job and telling her, Hey, I just left a business I was at for five years, <laughs> you know, that has been a steady stream of income for my family. I just left it and I'm mm-hmm. trusting that this new business that I'm in with Ben is just going to bring uh, great uh, financial stability and peace and more time with each other. Um, and she had doubts, you know, and Okay. I still remember Leo. She actually spoke to me. She told me, she says, do you really think this guy Ben has um, uh, all of this information that's going to help you to be able to leave your job? Like, do you really think he has, you know, wh- whatever, how much his program costs? Do you really think he has that much money of information to give you? And I looked at her and I said, yes, 100%. Yes. She says, okay. All right. Give it a shot. And looking back a year now, it was one of the greatest risks that I took of my life. <laughs> um, I was, we were able to go on our very first vacation this, this past year. Um, you know, we didn't even get a chance to go on a honeymoon after we got married, you know, and when I started this business with Ben, you know, I'm like, wow, we can go on a vacation now. Like I can set my schedule. Right. I can I can determine when, you know, the hours I'm going into work, what days I'm going into, the days I want to take off. Right. Um, I have so much freedom. You know, I, I have a young daughter that I, I can spend more time. You know, I can take her to sports events, you know, and being there and being a great father. Right. So the risk, you have to be able to take risk. It's very, very important. And I'm just extremely blessed and thankful that I that I stumbled upon Ben's Ben's ad on on, on a mm-hmm. podcast I was listening to, and then mm-hmm. I I took that risk and, um, you know it's 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 just like the story I told with the Vikings, man. You know I was committed. You know I I I I burned the boat. You know there was no going back. You know, mm-hmm. um, and it may be a different situation for another coach, you you know who who may not be married, who may be single. Mm-hmm. I know for me. Um, I got to go a hundred percent, man. There is no turning back because I have other people who are counting on me. So that just brought mm-hmm. another level of motivation and determination and grit to mm-hmm. make sure that this was successful. Um, mm-hmm. but I would tell the other coaches, you know, um, you have to be able to take risk in your life. If there's something that you are really passionate about doing, um, really give it a hundred percent effort, give it your best. Um, you will have some setbacks. You will have um, some, you know, some failures. You know, one month may be really difficult, and uh, but you have to be able to be. You have to stick to the process. You have to be consistent and just really go back to those three questions that you know you that you want to ask yourself: Am I happy with what I'm doing? Right. And so, um, if if you can just wake up every single day and, and 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 really work hard to answer those three questions every single day, I think it's just gonna be awesome for you in your life. So, but yeah, risks are very important, and my reward has been giving back plentiful. So, that's awesome. That's awesome. And well, I've I personally have seen your growth because you know you're you're part of our our program, and it's great to see like how you've been growing your very committed you you show up to all the calls you ask questions you share your results and you by you doing that you're getting results away from 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 the program so thank you play to you and continue because the more you continue to be consistent the more you're going to grow and it's going to be many more vacations with your family (laughs) appreciate that thank you so much leo i appreciate it Cool. So Mario, well, thank you. Thank you very much for, for taking the time to share share your story with us. Um, I know that I'm inspired by you. 
I know a lot of other coaches who take the time out to actually listen and and take note of your story and what what you went through and where you are now will be inspired. Um, how can coaches follow you or get in contact with you if they want to? Yeah, That's great question. Way. So if, if any coaches want to get in contact with me, uh, they can shoot me an email at afacoaching14 at gmail.com. Um, that is the best way to get in contact with me. Um, you can also check out our website at afabasketball.com. Um, AFA stands for Adams Fundamentals Academy, which is my last name. Um, and, and so that would be the best way to also get in contact with me as well, too. And just visit our page. You know, you're able to see a lot of parent testimonials on what we're doing um, and, and, and some, you know, a little bit more about our programs and what we offer. Um, and I know, you know, hopefully when this interview is released, I'm going to be sharing this, uh, with, with my kids and, and their parents as well, too. So I would just want to give a big shout out to all of the AFA basketball, uh, kids and parents who have trusted this Academy. Um, I haven't been able to, you know, I wouldn't have, have been able to have so much success with this business without your support and your dedication and your commitment. So thank you so much for, uh, enrolling in, into our Academy and yeah, so that's all I got, man. <laughs> Thank you so much, Leo. Good, man. Okay, well, Mario, all the best and um, look forward to catching up with you in the near future. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Take care.